All right, guys. So let's do the post-processing volume for the whole winter thing going on here. As you can see, we have a uh, snow land below us. And for those who think it's small, it's only small if you move across it quick, but when you're actually down on the ground, the land is huge. You see what I mean? So, first things first, world outliner. We need to deal with our uh, post-processing global volume here. And we need to disable this. For some reason, it won't let me. So we're just going to delete it. Yep. Bye-bye. And just give me one second. Okay. I just had to turn the volume down on the music for myself. Because it's pretty loud. And turning it down for you as well. So. First things first. We need to drag out a new cross process of volume. And the next thing we need to do is match to the size of the island. So drag it in the center. This island is usually 5,000 by 5,000 by 5,000. That might sound like it's pretty big, but... We just wanna... There we go. Everything's covered. We're good now. See, we want underwater to be covered. The same we want high in the sky to be covered, because if you go underground, you know, they're going to want it to be icy under there too. So, let's begin with the tint. That look. I wish we could combine the processing volume with the skylight here. We're going to do this. So, here's what I'm going to go off of, okay? You see that? And that... Yeah, this is what we're going to go off of, since clouds don't usually... We're going to get rid of the wisps, and I'm just going to have a just a bit of density like that, see? The sky is not the same, but you get the point. We can make it the same if we want and get rid of all clouds. And, uh... Well, I don't know where the sun is. That's the hard part about this. But so far, we're good. Okay, we're gonna continue now by just bumping the lights up. Because we want the land to be as lit as possible. <clears throat> and uh, we are gonna need to adjust the angle of the sky and I'm gonna kinda need a, a reference for that. So it's behind us. It's coming from that way now, is it? No, I think that's pretty much good. Because all of this is lit up then. Alright, so say you wanted a little bit more blue. We could definitely do a little bit more blue. Uh, I mean, if we could find... We want the, the dark spots to be slightly blue as well, and we're going to tint that to match. So, see in the crevices now, you got that blue tint going on. So far, so good. And if we go underwater, it looks blue under here too. Alright, so what is next? Well, we're going to want to have Gloomination, global, illu global Illumination on. If I could speak words, that'd be great. And that's good right there. Now, we are going to want to make it a little bit more saturated. And... Uh, do 
one more thing. I forget what the hell it's called. Uh, just to just emphasize everything that's around it. If you haven't noticed in the winter, it is sort of gloomy. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Snow. All right, let's try that. She does look very cold. So I guess it worked. I guess. But there's a problem. It's not fucking snowing outside. So I'm going to set a filter. We're going to grab some particle system. I'm going to grab some snow. I'm just going to drag it out here. It's going to need to render first. to do yeah, let's bring out another one kind of want to mix up the density just a bit all right now we are going to get some over encoding errors and it might look buggy as hell to you so i've just dropped it of everything we're going to just sit and wait see i want these videos to be as hd as possible for all of you Alright, so we got the snow going on. Is that seriously only in one spot? I hate when they do this. Where is the damn snow going? It's right there. And we need our falling snow as well. Grab both of those. So now what we're going to do is this. That way, when we go down here. It should be snowing everywhere now. Unless I screw that up. <sighs> Gotta get rid of all this. Just one second. Okay, so the character that we have. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the snow to her. Uh, that way, hopefully it will look a little better. So we're gonna open up uh, the Mixamo. I think it's in blueprints. I need to edit this. And we're going to go to full editor real quick here. Viewport. And we're going to drag in Snow Blizzard. So just attach that right there. And just hit compile. So now what happens is when we hit play, it should start snowing. No. Nope. Oh my. Uh, I'm gonna have to go get the mesh for her. Where is the mesh for her? She is known as Shield Maiden. So she's in the S's. Shield Maiden. And mesh. There's her skeleton. There's her axe. There's her shield. 
is your physical assist. Um, I don't want to always have it in there. So where is her blueprints? There they are. And we are going to duplicate this. We're going to name this one Snow. All right. We're going to go to viewport and we're going to drop the snow on her head. So the viewport, it's going to basically going to follow the mesh. It's going to follow her. So we're going to hit compile. And we're going to exit out of there. And then definitely going to need to edit this again. Right here where it says Shield Maiden. All right, so we're down with the S's. And we're going to add Shield Maiden Snow and hit compile. So now when we hit play, it should start snowing. Hey, there we go. Nice. So that's going to follow her. So always going to be attached to her, but maybe if you want more of a blizzard going on, okay. All right, that will add in some of that. Say you want another hitbox. Attach that. Give it a second to render. And we're getting encoding errors. So now, just because I am completely overkill with everything I do. There we go. Now she's constantly farting snow. We're actually going to get rid of that one right there. We are going to leave everything else. Ah, oh, snow boxes. Alright, so let's move this up. Move a little more. There we go. So let's try that. That's always in front of her. It's not what I want. I want it to be a part of her. So well, the one we just laid down is this one. I should hopefully do it. And the camera, I've always wanted to bring this in and maybe make a first person view. take to bring it back just a little bit more. Ah! Mommy. I apologize. Ah! Okay. I think I need to remove her head. Alright, I apologize for the nightmares that I just gave you. You know what, screw it. Let's just, uh... 
I'm going to delete her shield. And her axe. And... Now she's first person view. Okay. So... You guys can make it a little bluer if you want. It's up to you. Um, you could add more clouds here. Let's make it stormy outside. Okay. That density. Um, light density. These cloud shadows. And you got this going on. I mean, if this is not what you want, you could obviously take what you've learned here and automatically adjust it for whatever you need it to be. But in its essence, this is pretty snowy biome like. That is even functions of words. And I have taters cooking. I do. Taters are awesome. Uh, guys, if you want to find this uh, ma this height map, uh, it's in the Discord, of course, the Creators Guild Discord, and it's in the Announcements channel, so you guys can go grab it there. I put it up for free. The thing is huge. I'm not even joking. It is, like, beyond huge. Um, that's the main mountain. That's the main. This is the main mountain. Okay. I think if I stand up here, you'll understand how big this is. Like, look, I'm up on top of this thing, and it takes me a couple of minutes to get to the uh, end of the mountain. That's how big it is. I mean, if PUBG... Guys, PUBG, if you're watching this and you need a snow map, uh, I got you a snow map. Here you go. Feel free to use this because this is just ridiculously oversized. I mean, imagine if it's filled with... Uh, Oh, oh, and my favorite part of the map down here. I want to show this off a bit. This is my favorite part of the map, okay? Because, look, it's a small little isolated thing here. But when you go right down to it, it feels huge. It feels like its own little land. Because when I built this, I was just like, this is the first realistic island map that I've made in World Creator. Uh, it made me absolutely happy and there's tons of detail uh, as well but there you guys have it oh wait can I can I oh I glitched in her hair I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope it helps for those who are trying to uh, have this going on and I'll see you next time bye